Hello. A lot of people have expressed interest in learning more about the basic e-learning library, which we call the Bell, that Ole has been developing. So here's a chance for you to get a quick overview of Ole's mission and strategy and how the Bell fits into that. Then we'll do a walkthrough with you of the Bell under construction, still far from finished, but it'll give you an idea of the directions in which we're going. Then we'll give you access to the Bell itself so you can become a member, sign up, and give us feedback on the kinds of things that you would like to have the Bell do and how you feel about the way it's developing. So let's get started. Ole's mission is to ensure quality, universal, basic education. A good basic education for everyone. Something that scales to the most marginalized communities of the world. Our focus is on children and youth, and especially girls and young women. We use skilled coaches working in the classroom with students and teachers as learning teams, transitioning from talk and chalk to action-based, project-based learning. We emphasize large quantities of high-quality, open educational resources and bring in low-cost, low-maintenance technologies that are scalable. Finally, we insist upon gathering solid evidence about the effectiveness, or lack thereof, of our innovations. Our open learning network works off as well as on the internet and can be driven by locally generated power. Each community has its own library and each library member has their own personal library connected to the community library by Wi-Fi. Community libraries participate in a national network using a ground-based network we call SneakerNet. And each national network is connected by the internet to Ole's Earth Library that provides free open resources and periodic upgrades for the Bell system. Now let's take a hard hat tour of the Bell application that is under construction. Although it is far from completed, we are showing it to you at this point so you can see what we envision for the Bell and to get your comments and suggestions on how to make it more useful. Here we go. Okay, here we are at the sign-in screen. I will sign in as, as you will do when you become a member. And uh, I'll log in with my name and my password. Again, we're keeping the security here as something we'll deal with later. Um, we're trying to keep it as open as possible. People can get in and try it out. You are, in effect, when you come in, you'll be a super administrator. You'll be able to do anything here. So um, uh, make sure that you don't foul somebody else up in the process. Here, the first thing you'll see is the library itself. As you can see, uh, it's got lots of different uh, things in it. Uh, these are just put in here. For instance, uh, we've got some something like, you know, here's the periodic table. Um, uh, we got other, uh, all kinds of other things that are here that you can, uh, human anatomy, Spanish verb list, uh, various stories and so forth. Um, and um, I'm going to add a resource here just to show you how we do that. We're going to add a new resource. Um, it's, uh, this, this resource is, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll call it because I happen to know it. It's called uh, Goats uh, Caring for Goats. And it's a goat, um, it's a manual for goat care. And I'm adding it, it's added by me. I happen to know it's in a PDF, so we'll take it in a PDF. Um, and um, it's, it's agriculture. We have a whole series of uh, categories taken from the Library of Congress. I know. Just happen to know this is going to be obviously agriculture. I think that this is probably going to be most useful. Well, maybe even young kids will like this. So I'm going to say as young as the third grade and all the way up to the 12th grade probably makes sense in this case. Um, and and so um, uh, scroll on down. We're going to consolidate these screens a little bit. I'm not sure who the author is, so I'll just put it in as a question mark. Um, I'm going to browse and see if I can find it. I happen to know it's there. There it is, Keeping Goats. Um, I will open Keeping Goats now, 
and, and save it. And now I'll see if goats is here. Keeping goats somewhere should be caring for goats. There it is. So I know that it's that it's actually in there now. I'm going to open it a little later. Uh, let's go over to members. We've seen resources, the library. Now we'll go to members. You can see there's a list of members here. Uh, this list right now is by user ID. We're going to change it to last name, first name, then user ID in that order. Um, um, and you're, you'll be in here when you when you become a member. Uh, let's look, now look at the list of courses. Um, you can see that these are all courses that are being got. Again, as a super administrator, you can mess around with any of these. Uh, in the real world, if you, you're only the leader of a course could modify that course. Um, let's, let's go to algebra and, and take a look at, at what's going on in algebra. Here is uh, the algebra course. Uh, it needs a description. I don't know why it doesn't have it. We're calling it beginning algebra. Um, we'll find later that I can't even save this as a course without that in it. Uh, uh, the teach the leader here. Um, I happen to know his email. Olegana. Org. Gh actually. Uh, leave his phone out for now. Um, and as you as you will see here. Um, there, there are other things that can be, there's something called managing variables is the first step in this process. I open this up and uh, there's an introduction to algebra that we can see. Uh, looks very interesting. Um, I could create a quiz on this if I wanted to, but at this point I won't. I'll do that later. Um, I will go back to the course and it looks like good. I'm going to invite um, myself actually. Oh, the course description, I have to save it. Intro Introduction to Algebra, and I have to save it now. See, I didn't save it. Now the leader address is missing. Uh, see, I didn't save this stuff. Uh, Leonard, so it does catch me, at olehana.gh. Now see if I can save it. Ah, I can save it. That's good. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to invite some members. I can invite everybody on the membership list. I don't think so. I can buy by level. Actually, I'm just going to invite myself. I'm down here somewhere. Here I am. Okay, I'm inviting myself to that course. One of the things is that um, leaders invite people to courses, and then the people who are invited have the chance to uh, accept. Um, so let's go back to other courses. Um, and see some other courses. Now here's a course on animals that sounds kind of interesting. Um, as you remember, um, uh, intro to animals. Um, and we got to get Leonard in here. There we go again. Now we're going to save this. Remember we had to save at this point. Um, we've got a little, okay, now let's look what we have. This course has, um, no, I want, I don't want that. I want the animals course, not the algebra course. There, I want to manage the animals course. Thank you. Now here you see that we have a series of steps. I'm going to add a step. There are already five steps on this course. I'm going to add a sixth step, which is um, carrying I want to get some practical things here. So in this course, I want at this point to have them start caring for goats. And in order to do that, um, this, this is the goat manual. Uh, and it's number six on the step. It's going to have some quizzes here. I want them to know a fair amount. So I don't think more than three errors. And I think in the quiz, and I think they have to have at least half of them right in order for the, them to get by on, or, oh, maybe half of them right that's fine um, and um, so I'm going to save this now and so um, what I want to do is to add into this course these uh, resource that goat resource remember 
of that growth resource. It was in agriculture, I believe. Yes, it was in agriculture. I look, I have several things. I can carry them for goats. I'm going to add that to the level. Okay. Now the resource has been successfully added. Now if I go back to step six, I have a new step six, and and goats caring for goats is in there. So again, um, I'm going to go back to the course, and I'm going to invite myself to that course again. So I've got two invitations now that are going to me for me to open up in my personal bell. There is a second invitation, and I've already got it. Okay. So now I'm all set. Now let's go now to my personal bell and see what's going on there. And my personal bell, uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of things. Oh, look, I've got the goats thing. Let's see what... Um, um, but first of all, I've got some invitations. Okay. I've been invited to the algebra. I'm going to accept that. All right, it's already exists on my dashboard. Already it's updated, but it already exists. I'm going to go to the animals. Uh huh. That's already existed on my. Oh, it's added to my dashboard now. Animals is in there. That's great. And um, what's what more am I invited to? Beginning English. Okay, I'll accept that as well. It's already on the dashboard, but it's been updated now. Okay. Let's see what I have in animals. It's in the animals course. Here we are. Now this guy, remember I had this caring for goats, number six. I just put that in there. Caring for goats. Let me open caring for goats and see what this is like. Um, and uh, it's opening, opening, and opening. And there it is, caring for goats. And look at it. This is the goat, what it's used, how to take care of it. The housing and pasturing. Goat care. Grooming. Sickness. Parasites. Oh, that's a wonderful thing. I'm going to learn a lot about goats for this manual. I'm really pleased with it. Now, I have to rate it. As you can see, I think that's a terrific thing. And um, it's a great manual on goats. And I save that. Now, one of the things here is that, see, having opened that resource, I am then required to, to rate it before I can go to something else. So that's a kind of one of the one of the key things about about uh, our whole system here. All right, so I'm going to go back now to uh, my dashboard. I've taken a look at the goats. I would like to add something to um, to um, oh I, I want to look at algebra too because I was really interested in this course on algebra and intro to algebra. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see what's the intro to algebra is all about. Oh, it's opening up a Let's resource here for me. In a restaurant, and I'm making $10 oh, per hour. look at that. But on top very of my hourly familiar. Wage, I also get tips. Yes. Each hour. Very, very so this familiar. This entire expression, you can view this as how much. Okay, so that's in there as well. That's kind of cool. Now I'm going to rate that. Again, that's another five star thing. Uh, outstanding. Outstanding way to learn algebra. Okay, and I'm going to save that. Now I have rated those two things. Going back to my dashboard. Here's something that we've just uh, added to the sentence. Um, a progress report. If I click on here, I should be able to get my progress report. And you can see it needs a little work done, but the basic idea is that if I was over here, I see that um, I have passed two steps and I have three remaining uh, for getting to know Somalia under chemistry. I have passed two steps and I have five remaining. Uh, under animals, I haven't passed any of the steps and I have six remaining. So this is an idea to give the uh, particular uh, learner uh, an idea of what courses that they need to take. As you can see, um, and I'm just going to do a little feedback here now, I'm just going to say, um, please remove the redundant columns. Okay, and I will save that. So that's successfully fixed. So now the developers know that they've got to do some work on this. And here is a bird's eye view of what is I have 35 steps remaining to uh, take. I've got a long way to go. 
uh, before I can uh, feel that I've met all of the steps of my courses. So that's, that's one of the things that's kind of interesting on this. Um, if I go back to the dashboard, um, I can uh, look at my, um, oh, this is an interesting one. I'll take a look at uh, the hungry caterpillar. Um, uh, very hungry caterpillar created by uh, Eric Carl. Uh, very hungry caterpillar by Eric Carl. For my sister Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Okay, One so, Sunday morning, the warm sun so I came guess what I have to do to stop out that of the is, egg. There we go. Back to the personal bell. And then finally, you saw that feedback. This feedback loop is now on every page, every screen. And so you can make comments. And when you use this, please use this feedback to give comments. Every feedback comment is linked to the screen in which you're doing it. Um, and, and you know who it is that's making the comment. So it's very, very helpful. That gives you an overview of what we're doing. Um, uh, the next slide will show you how to get in, and please join us and, uh, and have fun in the process. Take care. Here's how you can explore Ole Demo. Go to the tiny URL, uh, bookmark it so you don't have to remember it, sign in by becoming a member, and then explore the bell and give us feedback. Please, in the upper right-hand corner of each screen, give us a lot of feedback. Thank you.